give this information to everybody else. Okay. Hello, welcome to Take a Break. So this is a restorative posture sequence for you. We're gonna keep it super duper simple so you you can stay in that really relaxed space even when you're transitioning between postures. Um, I have here a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, a stack of blankets or um, pillows that are firm or towels. Towels and quilts actually work the best because they're very dense. So if you have something like that to gather those things, um, I'm using a block here to lift. You can use a pile of books, um, something that is firm and strong to hold you in place. Um, if you want to find um, something to cover your eyes, like uh, if you have an eye mask or a scarf or something like that, that can be nice to kind of block out the light. Um, candles, incense, make yourself cozy. I'll show you your first posture so you can get right into it as I'm still doing the intro. So it's really simple. We're just going to bring, um, and it's nice to have a blanket over your mat and a blanket at the base of your bolster or at the base of your pile of stuff. <laughs> so just bringing the base of the spine to the bottom of the bolster. Bring yourself back, arms out to your sides, nice and wide, doing a gentle opening in the shoulder. And then feel free to bring something underneath the thighs. So a rolled up blanket, another bolster, if you're lucky to have one. And then bring your legs out long. If this is really uncomfortable for the lower back, you can stand your feet on the floor and bring the knees together. And lengthen the neck and settle in. So we'll be here for the beginning of practice. I'll let you get settled in, gathering any supplies. And it is my intention for you in this practice to let go of even working on yourself, letting go of the pressure to follow my voice, the pressure to do a posture right. And anything, we're looking for comfort here. So if there's dis discomfort, modifying your posture, but really finding a nice, cozy way to to move through the next hour and a bit and to shed all of those responsibilities, those pressures, those anxieties that build up over time. Sometimes we don't even realize how much we're carrying. And maybe for you, you are in a 10 of wands moment. You are at the end of how much of a burden you can bear and you have no choice but to put everything down and wrap. And so this is a safe space for you here to settle in to your breath, feeling the rise and fall. And we call in any guide ancestors, energies, or entities that wish to be present with us here tonight to help guide us through our practice, through a time of deep, deep relaxation. You may choose to follow my voice or you may fall away from it. Perhaps your mind wanders and my voice brings you back. Start to lengthen your breath. Um, 
And see if you can have your breath reach all the way down to the toe. Big inhale in through the nose. Strong exhale through the nose. And with each breath, you become more and more relaxed. Feeling all the muscles of the face relax. Fingers in the backs of the hands relax. The heels and the head and the belly relax. Start to feel your body brighten and lighten as you relax. Become like a star. Out in some distant galaxy. Removing yourself from the troubles of your earthly body and light. Wandering into this space of lightness and brightness. And all the star needs you to shine. Whenever you fall away, come back to that light and feel yourself radiate out. Feel peaceful. Relax. And from this distance, from this great height, you may observe your thoughts and memories. 
any thought of your life that comes up, see it from all the way out there. A distant observer of your own thoughts and memories. This is where you shall stay for the remainder of your practice. Perhaps other lives, forgotten things, dreams will be shown to you. Always staying distant from them. Observing from the space of light. In your body, gently begin to bring the soles of the feet together with the knees wide. You can use pillows underneath the knees or roll up a blanket and wrap it around the ankles. Resting the backs of your legs on Whatever part of the blanket is left over. You may keep your arms as they are or reach them up. Or rest them on your side. Or create a diamond shape around the belly button. Whichever position is most restful for you. There is any discomfort in the body using blankets and pillows to create comfort. So having the knees supported, having the thighs supported, whatever feels right. Maybe you place a pillow or something weighted over the belly. And eyelids heavy, sink into your breath.
Remember that you are safe here. Yourself is a star a million miles away from this earthly body. Looking at your thoughts from far away. Relax into this peaceful and quiet place. Know that you are held and you are safe. Of being so far away from your earthly trouble, anxiety, and stress. Being so far away from the burden and the struggle. How weightless still exist without breathe into that deep black of the point. Begin to jump and draw your knee into center, walking your feet in that distance apart, letting the knees touch, but allowing the inner thighs to relax. Feeling an opening in the lower back. Bring your arms to your sides, palms face down, fingertips to the earth. 
and just allow the elbows to become heavy. So maybe they're touching the ground, maybe they're not. Close your eyes. We're stopping the gate. Bring yourself back. Feel that starlight burst through every chakra. Landing, clearing, and breaking apart any stuck or stagnant energy. Activating your crown. Activating your third eye. Activating your throat. Activating your heart. Activating your solar plexus. Activating your sacral. And activating the moon. Each energy center bright. The loving energy of the star. Sitting in a place of balance and peace. So your feet are mat distance apart or a little bit more. Let the knees drop over to the left side and gently bring yourself up to seated. Keep your eyes soft. Left foot comes to the inside of the right thigh, right foot behind. So creating this pinwheel shape with the leg. Back knee is bent, back foot is back. And we're again going to use our bolster just as it was, or whatever we have supporting us. Rotate the belly toward that pillow. Walk your fingertips out and come down onto your right ear. So if it feels better to bring um, this lower, then you can do that as well. But it can be nice to have a block underneath so you can rest your arms. So bringing the arms underneath. Maybe giving that bolster a hug. If that's available, 
or resting your arms at the sides. And if it's too much to come onto the right ear, just stay on the left ear, relax a little bit. I'm here to go. If you feel like you're holding yourself up, use some other props to really support the body so that you can fully surrender and relax into your twist. Letting the arms, so if the arms are holding you up, just letting them relax. Start to cultivate a deep breath. To fill the hips and the belly and the ribs and the chest. And then exhaling chest, ribs, belly, and head. With each exhale, you sink a little bit deeper into relaxation, starting to feel that peace wash over you. Eyes soften your clothes, heavy, heavy eyelids. Relax. There is no intention except for the one that I hold for you here, except to breath. Allow yourself to regenerate in your charge. Clearing your mind of anything that needs to be done. Any problems that you feel need to be solved in this moment can be solved later. You are resting, feeling fun. Drawing your awareness back up to that star. Feeling all energy centers activated and bright, working in balance. Let the tongue be heavy, let the jaw relax. Settle into the point.
If any upsetting or negative thought come up, rather than pushing them away, see if you can observe them from this great height, from this space far away illuminated. So to bring your palms to the earth and gently and slowly press yourself up to the seated, letting the right knee relax, and then turning toward your pile of blankets or your bolster, and walk your knees to either side, sinking your hips back to your heel. We're going to take the supported child's pose. So again, you can lower but get up the same right. You can bring a blanket or a pillow underneath the hips um, on top of the feet. And then start to walk yourself forward with a nice long spine. Rest your right ear. And I will let you know when we are halfway so you can switch. If it is more comfortable for you to tuck the chin in toward the chest, bring your third eye down. You're welcome to do that if that's comfortable for you. And just let the upper body be heavy. Again, not holding yourself up here. Letting yourself be held and relaxed. Closing the eye. And finding your way out of the gallery. Shimmering right.
at this great height, you are held in a cocoon of light. Feel it beneath you and above you, to your right and to your left. You are completely surrounded in this light, a light of peace, grace, quiet and relaxation. is also a healing and a cleansing light, a light that can help to restore hope. And we need not do anything with this light, simply be within it. So each time your mind wanders, remember where you are. And you may now switch gear. There is any trying or doing or striving, just let that go. Let yourself melt into the center of the star. Observing your life from afar. When you're ready, gently bring yourself up to seat and shift so that your right hip is at the base of the bolster. The right foot comes to the inside of the left thigh, left foot behind you, flexing the foot, so taking that female position on the other side. And then turn your belly towards your bolster and towards your support, walking yourself out and coming down onto the left ear. 
and if the left ear is too much for the neck, it's resting on the right ear. If you have space underneath, bring your hands underneath the bolster or let them rest at the side. Let yourself be fully supported in your twist. And if you need more or less of a twist, it's an, an adjustment in the leg. So the closer the right knee toward the chest, the lighter the twist, the farther away the deeper. So if you move the right knee away from you and come down, it'll be a much deeper twist. We're looking to stay comfortable in this posture as we're holding it for many breaths. So finding what's best for you. Closing the eyes and settling into your breath. And finding your way back to back through a light center of your soul. Every cell in your body is bright and plump with this light. Feel the space between you and everything you have, everything that is happening.
ever the height becomes too much, ground yourself in the heart space. Feel into your heartbeat. You are safe here in this space. Any intensity that arises, your distance, your height, that you are not within this memory or thought, you are far away from the observer. The universal gate. The powerful healing energy forces within. When you're ready, you start to unwind back up. Move your uh, holster, your pillows, whatever it is, aside. Uh, maybe you place it under where your thighs will be. We're coming down into shock. So you want to place something under your thighs or the lower back. Avoid putting anything underneath the head to block the airways. We want to be really, really comfortable um, and really, really flat on the earth, with the exception of the legs, potentially. And this is your final posture, so making sure that you're cozy, you've got your socks on, your sweater on. Perhaps you put a blanket over top of you. Try to stay low to the ground and as relaxed as possible as you move through these adjustments. And getting out any little wiggles or movement in the body, just taking this time to maybe move the head from side to side, maybe point and flex the feet, maybe move the wrists. So the things that we usually do to wake up the body, we're going to do just before we settle in to make sure that we're fully comfortable, fully surrendered. We relax the body. And as I begin to lead you through this next part, following the sound of my voice, if you fall away from it, don't worry. It's okay. Yoga Nidra is a deep relaxation. You feel very heavy or experience a sleep-like state. Don't worry, we're not doing it. 
to surrender to the system. Drop into this space. I'll allow you to get the chair. Feeling completely comfortable. And we'll start to count our breath, inhaling for the count of four, holding for the count of four, exhale for the count of four, hold your exhale for the count of four, inhale. Two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale. Hold, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, Four, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three. Continue to repeat this breath. Until it feels natural, as though you are standing in the center of it. And begin to draw your awareness down to the right big toe. Second toe. And right foot. Third toe and right foot. Fourth toe and pinky toe. Running your awareness over walls of the heart. Into the heel, the right foot, and around the right ankle. Front of ankle, back of ankle, right thigh, left thigh. And drawing your awareness up to the shin, the right thigh, calf, the right thigh. The skin, the connective tissue, and the muscle to the bone. And this deep awareness moves to the right knee, front of right knee, back of right knee, outside, inside. Feeling everything from the knee down, completely relaxed. Drawing your awareness up 
inner thigh, outer thigh, inner thigh, outer thigh, and skin down to the bone. Your awareness travels to the right leg. Your entire right leg is completely relaxed and heavy on the earth. Now drawing your awareness to your left big toe. Second toe on the left foot. Third toe on the left foot. Fourth toe. Fifth toe. Running your awareness to the balls of the feet in your toe. Butt edge and butt edge. Along the left side, and the left ankle, back to the left, outside edge, inside. Your awareness travels back, pushing out the left leg. Your skin, connected tissue, muscle, bone. And that deep awareness travels beneath, outside, inside, front of me, back of me. Drawing your awareness. The left uh, inside it, outside it, front of the left eye, back to the left eye. From skin all the way down. Your awareness from steps to the left side. Your left leg is now completely relaxed, heavy. You now draw your awareness from the right hip to the left, moving that awareness to the reproductive organ. Drawing that awareness from the right to left through the body as we move up through the digestive tongue. And all of the connective tissue and flat bones. As you move up the torso, right side belly, left side belly, belly button, spine. The rib, right rib, left lung, right lung, left lung, right. the other is the flesh, the bone, the connective tissue. Your torso and the chest down is now completely heavy and relaxed. That open bring your awareness through the right shoulder. And the right shoulder becomes heavy. As you draw your awareness down to the right arm. Shoulder to right elbow. Right elbow to right wrist. Right wrist out. Thumb. 
index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinch finger. Drawing your awareness to your palm, back up, right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder. Feel that awareness travel across the chest, the left shoulder, heavy and relaxed. And from the left shoulder, the left elbow, elbow, left wrist, left wrist to the left thumb, index finger. Middle finger, ring finger, and pinch finger. Back over the palm, the left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder. Both arms are now completely relaxed and heavy on the earth. And now drawing your awareness up through the neck, outside edge, right edge, left edge, front neck, back edge, outside edge of the right ear, inside the right ear, down the right. Spreading that awareness. The left ear, outside edge, inside. Left ear, down to the ear. And down across the left top toward the chin. Feel that awareness and over the bottom left, bottom gum. Upper teeth, upper gum, upper lip. Feel this awareness spread across the lower cheek and back toward the nose, right nostril, left nostril, right cheek. Right eyelash, left eyelash, right eye, left, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, right temple, left temple, running across the space of the forehead toward back over to the crown of the head. Your entire body is now completely relaxed and at peace. You may find yourself back at the start. In that space of light and healing. Allow yourself to be cleansed in this space. Grace and light and beauty washing over you. For you,
this time away in the distant star is a reminder that it is okay to remove yourself from the grind, from the trying, from doing, from striving. But sometimes the greatest clarity comes when we stop and we allow ourselves to sleep. Without judgment or expectation. Experiencing the moment as it happens. The star that surrounds you does not work to generate its light. That creation is in its being. Just that and air. So when you eventually return to your earthly life, your earthly body, I will take with you this perspective and this great fight, this feeling of the being, perhaps recognizing that All we have to do is be ourselves and that we naturally know where we need to be and where we need to go.
from your place in the center of the star. Start to gather the edges of that light and feel them draw inward like a magnet into the center of your heart space. Gathering and absorbing all of that beautiful, cleansing, healing, light energy. Feeling the edges draw closer and closer to your skin. All the edges of your body, feet, on your head, on your right hand. And continue to draw that energy, all of that potent star light in through the skin, the connective tissue, the muscle, the bone. And it all magnetizes and draws into the heart space. So you can hold that starlight within you. Access it whenever you should need it. Simply by remembering that it's there. And you may now start to bring awareness back into the feet, pointing and flexing the feet, wiggling the toes. If you're moving on to a time of sleep, um, still waking yourself up slightly with movement in the body and then taking yourself to bed. But I do ask that when you are done that process that you come out in the way that I lead you here tonight. So slowly and gently moving through the transition of rebirth. So for those of you that are transitioning now, bringing awareness into the hand, moving the head from side to side, scrunching the face, giving all of the muscles a little bit of a movement, a little bit of a shape. And then standing your feet on the floor, not distance apart, moving the knees from side to side like the windshield wiper, back and forth, waking up the spine. If there's something you need to purge verbally, get it out, song you need to sing. Thing you need to say, say it out. <sighs> Coming into the physical body, right hand to the heart space, left hand to your belly. This is your moment of gratitude, finding something that you're grateful for today. What are you grateful for? Letting that fill the heart space. Gratitude reaches as deep as we so We allow its light to reach into the darkest spaces of ourselves and give us respite, support, nourishment, protection. And the only thing we need to do to connect with this feeling and this power in ourselves is to remember what we're grateful for. That easy is that hard. When you're ready, you reach your right arm alongside the ear, turning over onto your right side into the fetal position. Honoring this time of transition by pausing here, taking a moment to receive love from yourself, receive this practice from yourself. Every day we wake up, we show ourselves that we love ourselves. Feeding ourselves is an act of love. There are so many ways that we show that we love ourselves, acts of service, gifts, 
and time spent. But often we don't know to how to receive that for ourselves as love. So we'll take this moment to receive the love for ourselves. Maybe even in your mind, I receive a hug from yourself. And when you're ready, pressing up to be seated, finding a comfortable seat, we will close the class together with a feeling of connection. So again, if you're staying in Shavasana, let's worry, you can do this with us as well. Just bringing your arms out to your sides, palms facing forward or up. Imagining yourselves in a circle. And you now receive through your palms a feeling of connection from the roof that connects us all in the song that sings the universe. Of kindness, compassion, unity, empathy, support, all of the ways in which we are not alone, we feel and receive this connection to our own. Feel it surge up the arms into the heart space. Feel yourself full with connection. You are not alone. You are never alone. And we now begin to receive through the right palm and give from the left, an endless flow of energy from right to left around the circle. The flow is like prayer, communication, divine. It allows us to send out and receive what it is that we need without restricting that flow without keeping anything for ourselves. We allow our abundance to move through us. From right to left around us. When you're ready, draw your hands to your heart, feeling it into the heart space, remembering that starlight is in there as well. Everything you need is always already inside of you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It was such a beautiful um, sharing of energy and practice. Oh.